Hey guys, so I'm going to show you how to get this um, NTR uh, remote play thing uh, working. So you can obviously see on your screen, on computer screen, what's happening on your 3DS. Um, so the the common errors that people are making is firstly, um, once you've run the NTR application on your 3DS, you need to make sure that you, when you press the buttons X and Y, and you need to make sure that you haven't selected any application. When you press X and Y, you should see this menu over here. If you don't see that menu, it hasn't run correctly, you need to go start again, okay? You need to make sure that you see that. Uh, once you see that, you need to say enable the debugger. And um, once it's enabled, the screen will just go back here and you won't know it's actually enabled, but it is. So don't worry about that when it quits. Um, so you have to do that first. And only once you've done that, should you initiate your connection, okay? Then, only then will you be able to connect, okay? So that's the first thing. The second thing is, I was getting this error saying, unable to read data from the transport connection, a blocking operation was interrupted, and then it would just disconnect. And I got a white screen on NTR view and nothing would work. So as you can see, it's white. So the way to fix this is actually quite easy. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you all the files that you need um, to get this working. So first off, let me quickly add, this one so you can see. So there's two folders here, uh, two zip files that I'm going to sh uh, share with you guys that you need. First one is NTR, um, and the other one is Nitro Stream. Uh, and actually there's one more that I've forgotten, and that is um, Starter Kit. Okay, here we go. So you need the Starter Kit, and you need... Um, NTR and I'm going to show you the night stream because I think that's a better interface. So in the starter kit, you need to take the NTR and the boot NTR bin and the CIA file and you need to copy it into the roots of your um, card. And, and when they say the roots of your card, if you've got a Sky 3DS, it's not onto the 3DS, it's actually onto the one in the back here. So you need to open this up and you need to put it in there. Once you've done that, you copy it across the root and then you go and use FBI to install the, the CIA. Nothing new there. Once you've done that, you then need to make sure that you've copied the, the ntr.bin file and you need to make sure that you're copying over this ntr.n3ds.bin. Don't go renaming stuff for bin files or anything. You need to also have this file on. Otherwise, it's not going to work and that's the error that I had. It would just not open and I would ha end up with this white screen that you can see over here. So, there you can see it, the white screen. So. In order to get this working, very easy, I can now close this. All you need to do is you just need to now press connect on um, uh, here on uh, NitroStream. As soon as you press connect, it will then automatically take you through and it'll come up with this window which you can see my 3DS over here. And as you can see, I've got my games and launch it. And there you go, Bob's your uncle, which is quite cool. You can also obviously tweak the settings, picture quality and whatnot to try and get the uh, the frames per second a bit faster. Um, and obviously you'll have to reconnect in order to for those settings to take effect. But yeah, hopefully that helps you guys out. Um, as I said, don't forget to make sure that you press X and Y to enable debugging before you connect. Otherwise, you will not be able to connect to the device either. Cool. Thanks for watching, guys. Ciao.